A mysterious death in El Monte. A driver was found in the wash after hitting a guardrail near the 10 freeway in Santa Anita Avenue last night. As KCAL News reporter Tina Patel shows us, detectives are still trying to figure out why the victim was in a restricted lane. The medical examiner has now left. We're still waiting for the specific information about who was killed. But you can see behind me, the traffic is now flowing normally along the 10 freeway. The investigation, though, is still underway. This crash happened just before midnight near the Santa Anita Avenue exit. For some reason, investigators say a driver in a Chevy Tahoe ended up in the bus only lane. He or she hit a K rail in that lane, which caused their vehicle to roll off the side of the freeway. The driver's body was ejected from the vehicle ending up in the Rio Hondo wash. Unfortunately, they did not survive. First responders spent several hours searching the area to make sure that no one else was involved in the accident. Then they lifted that damaged Tahoe out of the wash. Investigators still trying to figure out how the driver ended up in the bus lane to begin with. They will be looking into whether alcohol or speed may have played a factor. In El Monte, Tina Patel, KCAL News. Tina, thank you. This morning, L.A. County Sheriff Robert Luna's new policy is facing heat. Its goal is to get rid of so-called deputy gangs, and it requires detectives to investigate those groups. Joining us now is Inspector General for L.A. County, Max Huntsman. Thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. Good morning. Uh, good morning. So obviously, L.A. County has had a long history with these deputy gangs uh, as well as hate groups. Explain what we're talking about exactly. Uh, law enforcement gangs are defined in California Penal Code as uh, groups within uh, a, a police agency that violate certain legal principles, such as discrimination in membership and conduct that people would associate with street gangs. Okay, and, and what is the main concern with these gangs um, in terms of uh, the jail system? Uh, there is a former LA County Sheriff who is in prison right now um, because of his involvement with these gangs. Yes, that, that sheriff, uh, his number two, was a tattooed member of a group called the Vikings, which was declared to be a white supremacist organization by a federal judge. Uh, the groups have uh, infiltrated, if you, if you like, uh, the management levels of the sheriff's department in the past and possibly currently, and they operate under a kind of a code of silence, much like the mafia, Omerta, in which they do not identify their membership. And that's, I think, the core danger of them. They, they force the sheriff's department to be secretive, and as a result, the public doesn't get to know what happens in back rooms and what conduct is really being engaged in. And I, as the inspector general, have been excluded from uh, being able to monitor that process as well. So it's it's that corrupting influence that I think is the most serious aspect of the, of the, the gangs and the groups that are gang-like. Mm -hmm. I was reading up on this. I was kind of shocked that there was nothing on the books already that makes this illegal. Yeah, it, it, uh, it's existed for 50 years, and what's most shocking about it is that everybody has chosen to let it keep happening. Um, I think the public has always assumed that the government would take care of its business, and that's just not how it is. My office was created 10 years ago to try to dig into this and related problems uh, on behalf of the public. But it's, as we all know, <laughs> trying to get our government to do what it should can be difficult. So you have criticized this new policy. Uh, why is that? Well, the policy in and of itself is fine. It's a policy that should have been uh, put in place two and a half years ago when this law was passed. Had it had, with this the policy then, I'd be applauding. Uh, but in fact, since then, uh, there's been a lot of discussion with the Civilian Oversight Commission. They've made recommendations about getting rid of the secret societies. The sheriff has uh, represented that he would do that. And we were kept in the dark throughout this process, which uh, is is wrong. It's in violation of law and uh, shouldn't have happened. We weren't allowed to monitor. We weren't given um, a drafts. And now we finally see this draft. And after two and a half years, it leaves out the important part, dealing with the secrecy. And that's what's disturbing to me. In and of itself, it, there's nothing wrong with it as a small step in the direction of actually getting rid of these groups. But we, we haven't seen a real willingness to tackle these difficult problems within the government. And that's that's the real core problem. Well, I know you will be uh, keeping an eye on that. We will be following it as well. Max Huntsman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you it. for your attention to the matter.